My sister had the umbilical cord around her neck, oxygen that was deprived to her brain. And so she developed uh, paralysis in all four limbs and is unable to communicate. It was a slow unveiling when my mom uh, was probably the first to realize that there's something wrong because my sister was a ideal baby. It was a shock. It was a shock and there's no preparation for it. Nobody trained us for this. Nobody, there was no resource to tell us what to do. You know, we were vulnerable and I think as a family, my, as, at the time my mom and, and my dad were certainly going to do everything that they could to to show love and protection for, for my sister, but they didn't know what was the appropriate steps. We were fortunate that we came into contact with people at this organization who had similar experiences to us and had already gone through the cycle from beginning, middle, and on, and uh, were able to share perspective. And, and chart a path for us so that we could lift the veil of uncertainty of ignorance and, and, and decide on a, a plan. We were really glad that we had this organization to, to guide us in, in a, uh, a helpful, responsible, and holistic path that, that took into account my sister's best interests and the rest of the family. There's an opportunity as a parent, as a sibling, to approach this organization and, and uh, make it part of the family because they're taking care of family, our family. So if you can adopt the people, the caregivers who take care of our loved ones, in this case, my sister, it's a chance to make them family to, and, and then it's a chance for us to serve more than ourselves. Uh, we've em embraced the mission of helping her and helping others. And we don't think of just helping people who are in need. We also think of helping and caring about the people who, who take care of those. It, it's one and the same. I often ponder about how important it is that the staff members who are taking care of, of my sister uh, are to, to us. You know, I, my, my family's life is entrusted in their hands. And some of the people who have this important role are living on a poverty level. Some donors might like to do something about that. And so we, tr we started the Valued Employee Program. And our, our family has, has contributed a good amount to it because uh, the people who care for us, the people who we care about as family, sometimes are living paycheck to paycheck. And if something happens to their car, or if something happens, a medical event to someone in their family, they're in big trouble. I believe that our organization is the best place for my sister, that she's gonna get the best care, and that there's, there's a culture of care here. So I, I, I really encour encourage other people new to our organization who come in and, and rely on us to care for their family members, to join our family, and to, to, to think about not just their loved ones, but the people who are taking care of their loved ones.